Hello again, good afternoon to you. Welcome to Business. Economist Professor Peter Corte says the world would be watching to see if Ghana can survive without the IMF. In an interview with Joy Business, he indicated government would have to intensify its revenue generation capacity locally to stay on top. Yeah, I think the decision um, was based on our achievements mm. and you could see from the statement that uh, they even commended the government for mm. achieving most of the targets, uh, which for me uh, looks good. Um, they also cautioned a few things, or well, a few things. One is the level of uh, debt that the country um, has, you know, the, the increasing debt mm -hmm. uh, burden. That was one caution they gave quite, mm -hmm. quite strongly. And, and also the need to increase revenue mobilization. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if, if we don't do that, would go and borrow more and that would not be good for our risk profile, that mm -hmm. would not be good for our exchange rates and would not inure to our benefit. Mm -hmm. uh, then also the issue um, about debt. Um, when, when you're unable to raise enough revenue, then obviously you would have to uh, focus more on borrowing, mm -hmm. uh, which comes with uh, interest rates, uh, repayment uh, issues. Uh, if you look at how much we spend on debt servicing, it's quite high. Mm -hmm. um, after paying for wages and salaries, what is left becomes very little for capital expenditure. So that, that caution uh, we have to take uh, seriously um, going forward. Society's failure to explore and utilize ingenuity of special, uh, the ingenuity of special children was highlighted at an event to mark World Social Work Day in Kumasi. Sociologist Dr. John Bullard Foucault believes the failures are uh, partly to be blamed for Ghana's slow pace of realizing her full economic potential. He spoke at the Community Special Vocational School at the Diaco where the ceremony was held. What we do here is that we do this work here, we do candles production, we do dog mat making, we do um, time diabetes making. These are issues that prepare students for lifelong learning. School head Stanley Mwini enumerates the commercially viable products churned out by Emit. The Diaco Community Special School is one of the only two second cycle facilities for graduates for all schools for persons of special needs in Kumasi. It was established as a private institution in 2002 and absorbed by government in 2005. Students are required to undergo three years of skills training in tailoring and dressmaking, leather work, as well as bead making, among others. Sociologist Dr. John Bullard Foucault says the country starts to lose if such potentials continue to be neglected. If we are able to establish a good relationship with them, then we can harness the limitless potential that they have. Because if you look at the artifacts that they develop on a yearly basis, they do slippers, they do uh, uh, beads, etc., etc. It can really boost the economy of Ghana if only the society, the larger Ghanaian society, accept them. The 2019 edition of the International Social Work Day highlights promotion of importance of human relationships. It's the key day in the year social workers worldwide stand together to celebrate the achievements of the professions. National organizer of the Ghana Association of Social Workers, Moses Jesse, observes a gradual breakdown of family and workplace as a result of poor relationships. According to him, this has long-term implications on productivity. This year, we want to say that human relationship is important in the family, as a workplace, in the community, and everywhere we find ourselves. There is a breakdown of the family as a result of poor relationship at home. There is a breakdown in our workplaces where productivity is low. As a result of poor communication at the workplace, in our community, we no longer have the community meetings that we used to have, which brings the people together. The Association of Social Work Students took the opportunity to interact with the special students to create awareness of the importance of social inclusion. Eno Kamponsa is vice president of the association. Engaging with these special children, we want them to understand that they are also part of us. They can also actually contribute their culture to Ghana's development. And that's in business for now. I'll be coming away shortly with the marketplace for more business news.